be brief. And today, Senator Ted Cruz releasing a report calling the implementation of Obamacare lawless and abusive. Is President Obama violating the Constitution, and what are the limits? Georgetown Law Professor Nicholas Rosencrantz joins us. Good evening, sir. Hi, Greta. Nice to be with you. Nice to have you back. Abusive and lawless is what Senator Ted Cruz says. Do you agree or disagree with Senator Cruz, and why? Well, Senator's, Senator Cruz's point is that uh, the way the president's implementing Obamacare looks a lot more like rewriting the law rather than executing it. The Constitution requires the president to take care that the laws be faithfully executed. And in many ways, what President Obama is doing looks a lot more like the rewriting of the statute. When do you know that's happening? What's the test? I'm sorry. When do you know that that's happening, this rewriting? What's the test? Well, so the Take Care Clause gives the president a wide discretion, but I think it's safe to say that the president has crossed the line in a few cases with regard to Obamacare. For example, uh, the president chose to unilaterally suspend the uh, employer mandate for an entire year. The statute is crystal clear about the date when the uh, employer mandate's supposed to begin. And the president, uh, on his own motion, said, I'm going to wait an extra year. Now, he has wide discretion, but he does not have discretion to entirely suspend a law wholesale. And that's essentially what he's done here. Except that he didn't throw it out completely. He just put it on pause for a year. Does that, uh, uh, is that an argument in favor of the president? Well, you know, that's exactly what English kings used to do, is suspend laws temporarily. They used to claim the power of suspension. And our framers uh, made a different choice. They said that our executive was going to be obliged to take care that the laws be faithfully executed. This was quite a different choice. And here the president is opting to suspend a part of the law for an entire year for really policy reasons or, you know, more cynically, political reasons. Is there any, I mean, what should the president have done? Let's say that that was for policy reasons or for, you know, they simply couldn't implement one part.